Hello friends, welcome to next tutorial in chat GPT RPA series. In today's blog, we'll write code to take dynamic screenshots of web pages using Selenium Web Automation Framework. Link to GitHub repository source code and YouTube playlist is included below in this video description. So let's browse to our GitHub RPA repository. In the readme file, if you're looking to other web scrapping code, you'll find links to a lot of different web scrapping examples here, which perform a variety of different tasks. In this video, we are going to focus on writing code to take dynamic screenshot of web pages using Selenium Web Automation Framework. Frequently, a lot of time what happens, we require a snapshot of an email, web page, online order receipt, or any other document. Most modern operating systems like Windows, Mac, or Linux, they offer built-in tools to capture such screenshots online. However, a lot of times in certain scenarios, we need a code to streamline the process and fully automate of taking multiple screenshots of web pages. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the following. We are, first, we'll write the generic functions, and then we are going to extend this functionality to automate browsing and take multiple uh, pages screenshot at the same time. We will need two different Python modules, Selenium and Pillow, which we are going to install it later. We'll also need a Chrome web driver, which you can find it, which you can download using this link. So please make sure that you download the appropriate version depending on your operating system and the Chrome browser. So in my case is Windows and I'm going to download this zip. All right. Next thing in this notebook, you'll also find original chat GPT generated code, which does not work fine. I had to make a small little changes to make it work, which we are going to talk about later. So finally, we are going to open a new notebook and write each and every line so that this code can be customized for our purpose. In this notebook, we'll first install those two packages we talked about. pip installed selenium. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do this, but here is the command. And similarly, we'll need another package called pillow. pip installed pillow. This package is optional, but this is a great package if you want to display image online inside your Jupyter notebook. Again, I have this installed, so I'm not going to do it over again. Let me come in this. Now let's here, I assume at this point you already have Selenium installed. All right, so now at this point you also need Chrome Web Driver. So please make sure that you have a copy, you have downloaded a Chrome Driver.exe copy. All right, so first thing we want to do from Selenium import Web Driver. Again, we are not going to import everything from Selenium because I know I just need one small little functionality called Web Driver. Similarly, from Pillow, we just need the image. So I have uh, imported only the selected modules. And next thing we want to do, we want to define the URL of the page. You want to screenshot. So in my case, I just want to, for example, I want to go to finance.yahoo.com and get latest uh, uh, course of the Apple stock. So here is the link to that, and it could be any link. This is the link which where of which web page you want to take a screenshot of. Next variable we want to define is the path to that web driver executable. This is the Chrome driver.exe where you have downloaded it from. So all you need to do web driver underscore path and give the uh, path to that executable um, wherever that you, you have downloaded .exe file. All right, so now we have defined the URL, we have defined the web driver path. So now let's go set up the web driver. So again, uh, if you want to call the web driver, so web driver is nothing but a web browser, but you run the web browser in a headless mode. Headless means you're running that Chrome, but you are truly not running it. It's running as an executable exe, and you are controlling that Chrome or any other browser um, through these commands here. So that's what it means, options dot headless equals to true. Again, one more thing I want to call out here, it could be any browser. So Selenium is a great web automation framework and it allows you to uh, define your um, you know, work with any browser. It could be Firefox or uh, Internet Explorer or Chrome. In my case, I'm just using the Chrome. So let's define the driver, driver equals to webdriver.chrome. And I'm going to pass those two as if you look at the signature of that Chrome, um, Chrome uh, class, you will see that is except like you know a couple of parameters here bare minimum of you have to define the options and the executable path that's where your chrome driver.exe file is located all right so now once you have defined your driver all you need to do you have to load the web page it becomes very simple then driver.get and pass the url here all right so what it will do it will open that url in a headless mode next thing you want to do you want to take the screenshot of the entire page now uh, driver.find element by tag name now this is the code i copied from chat gpt and i'm sorry to say that it doesn't work as expected because you know as per new selenium the latest selenium package this uh, particular method find element by tag name is been deprecated and we'll see that like in a minute so but i'm still going to copy paste that original code what i got from chat gpt uh, but this is the code we are going to replace it with so 
Long story short, what I'm trying to tell you then in new Selenium package, they find element by tag name has been deprecated. And but there's also a method called save a screenshot. And here, if you just give the part to that um, file where you want to save that particular screenshot, um, it's going to take the screenshot and go to save that as a file. Now let's close the web driver. So driver dot quit. Okay, now at this point, all we need to do, we already have an image. So let's go. That's why I use that package called pillow. And here, all I'm using it for so that I can display the image. So image equals to image dot open and give that part to that particular image. All right, now let's go run this. Now, if I run this, I am pretty sure that it's going to give an error. So as you can see, it's, it's complaints about that particular method, as I stated before, that this has been deprecated now. So now let's go comment this out and uncomment our code. So simply what we are going to call, every web driver has this function called save screenshot. Now once you run this, you will see that it immediately, not immediately, it's going to take few seconds or minutes depending on your machine and your, and your internet connections because it does a virtual browsing. So it's, you know, it takes some time to open that page. And here, as you can see, my screenshot.png file has been created. Now, actually what we wanted to do for sub, for example, I'm going to extend this functionality. Uh, so for example, you want to create multiple pages, like you want to take a screenshot of like five or 10 different URLs. So in that case, what we are going to do, we are going to use very similar functionality. All we can do, we can create a simple for loop here. So import the OS. Uh, so that we can read the working, uh, the list directory and the directory functions. And, and let's go create a dictionary. So for example, you want to, you know, take a screenshot of the Apple or like any other stocks, apple.png, and you give the part to that finance.yahoo. Similarly, you want to take a screenshot of Oracle, Tesla, Google, or like, you know, you can, you can go on and on, whatever you want. In my case, I want to take a screenshot of these five different images here. So that's why you know, I created a dictionary with this URLs. Simply then what we, what we are going to do, I'm creating a function here, which accepts the output file name and URL. And all it does like, you know, it, it, um, it opens one URL at a time and it takes one screenshot at a, at a time. So I'm just simply, I'm going to loop it over uh, at the number of URLs. All right, so driver.get URL and then driver.save screenshot. And I'm, whatever the output file name has been passed, I'm just going to save uh, that a screenshot as that particular path. Simple. Now, next thing I'll need you to do, just like, you know, read that URLs. Um, so I'm going to create a for loop again, one more for, and it's going to take like, you know, it is going to read the items inside that URLs dictionary here. So key comma value in URLs dot items. And simply I'm going to call that function say take a screenshot and pass those key value. That's all it takes. So simply what I'm doing, I'm, you know, I'm looping over and calling that web driver screenshot one, one item at a time. So I hope that you find this code useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment at my GitHub issue log if you have any uh, trouble and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much.